In this video, I want to show you what is inside this wind turbine charge controller and how it does work. One year ago, I did a review about this wind turbine and I tested the performance of different charge controller in that video. Any wind turbine charge controller responsible to do three tasks. Number one, converting the AC voltage with the three phases that come in from the wind turbine to DC voltage. Number two, regulating the voltage that coming from the wind turbine to proper value to charging the battery. Because as you can see here, the wind turbine can produce more than 70 volt, while the 12 volt battery needs to only about 14 volt to charge in. Number three, disconnect the battery when it get fully charged and connect a dump load across the turbine to break in it. It is very important to use in dump load because when the fully charged battery disconnected, the wind turbine can spin in very fast, so the turbine can damage itself. To solve in this problem, we have to connect in a low value resistor across the output voltage of the turbine to break in it. This resistor so called dump load or diversion load. For example, if you short out the output voltage of the hand crank generator by a piece of wire, now it become more difficult to rotate in the shaft, so you just break in the motor. The same thing happened for the wind turbine. Here I just trying to simulate the breaking of the turbine by using two fans. The green fan making wind to spin in the red fan. But as you can see when I short out the two wires of the red fan by using the switch, it stops spinning. The same thing happened with the wind turbine and the controller. When the battery voltage increasing, it shorts out the wind turbine. Now let's see what is inside this controller. As you can see, they filled it by sand. I did some reverse engineering and I draw the schematic of this charge controller. This part of the circuit is just a full bridge rectifier to convert in the AC voltage that coming from the wind turbine to DC voltage. Three phase rectifier needs six diodes. The interesting thing about this circuit that they are using three diodes and three MOSFETs to make in a bridge rectifier instead of using six diodes. This is very clever because by switched on the MOSFETs, they short out the three phases and break in the turbine. These two transistors connected together as push-pull circuit to drive in the gate of the MOSFETs. This part of the circuit is just a boost converter. So as it mentioned on the controller, it can increase in the voltage that coming from the wind turbine when it is spinning slowly. This IC is a 3.3 volt voltage regulator, which used to run in the ICs and also as a voltage reference. For the up amp voltage comparators, all diodes in this controller can handle 3 amps. So that means the maximum charging current of the battery is supposed to be 3 amps only. Even the inductor is 3 amps, because I have the same one and when I bought it from China, it sold as a 3 amps inductor. You can download this schematic from the link below in the description. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.